Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I actually have my entire photo card collection that I'm going to show you. Um, so yeah, I meant to film this like a week ago, but I didn't, so I have it now. So yeah, I'm just gonna get started. I think as I do it, I'm also gonna talk about like my like plans and goals for each, <clears throat> excuse me. I think as I do this, I'm also gonna talk about like my plans and goals for each collection and then also my favorite card, if I remember. <laughs> so yeah, so first I have this little A7 binder that I actually haven't showed here yet because I just got it. It just came in the mail last night. So I threw the cards that I wanted to put in it really quick. And then yeah, so yeah. So this is my like dropped slash miscellaneous collections. So I have Isa in here. I decided to keep one card per era when I dropped her. So yeah, I'm just gonna flip through. So yeah, for Isa, I think I am just going to continue to get one card per era. And then I also have some swimming cards that I didn't want to part with. And then I have a Yeri card because I just really like this card, so I wanted to have it. I have another Yeri card coming, so she's kind of a miscellaneous collection now. So yeah, for their upcoming comeback, I will also be getting one card and continuing the one card per era. Because I do really like her, I just don't really have the energy to collect her fully. So yeah. So yeah, that's it. Really quick. And then yeah, for Yari, I'll just continue getting um, cards that I really like. And that's about it. Nothing serious. Then I have my girl group's um, A4 binder. So this holds Chedeong, Hikaru, and Jihyo. So yeah, I'm also kind of going in the order that I would go in my normal videos. So yeah. But I actually did just recently make a couple of um, collages. So I got a Chedeong one from Treasure. It's really cute. I like how it turned out. So yeah. So yeah, I have It's Icy. And then it's me. Ugh. Not shy and guess who? And then first page of Crazy in Love. Second page of Crazy in Love. Checkmate into Treasure. And then my full page of Treasure. And then I'm set up for the next comeback. And then I have a small little non album page for her. I was originally going to like collect her at Pobs, like I guess kind of fully, but I ended up not deciding not to do that, so I just threw them in the back here. And yeah. So for Chedeong, my goals are just to you know keep keep up, <laughs> I guess, because I actually have the these last three cards secured; they're on the way. So yeah, I'm basically caught up with her. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep collecting as the albums come. And then if I get a pre-order benefit, because I ordered all my albums from K-Town, so I think I might get an OT5 set, so I think I'm going to hold on to those. So yeah. So yeah. That's it. And then my favorite card. Hmm. I, f I think it's this one. I really like the mirror selfie. So yeah. That's it, and then for Hikaru, I also recently made a little collage. I did it from the first blush version of Love Struck. So yeah. So I have first impact complete. And I have the blast, and I have all except two cards. These cards are kind of impossible, so I'm just gonna, yeah. <clears throat> I think, I guess my goal for this is to find these cards, probably just like by maybe my next, the next time I film a collection video or something, which will probably be like at the end of the year. So yeah, and then I have Troubleshooter complete, and then Love Struck. I have Love Struck, I have the regular album cards complete. This is actually a pre-order benefit, but I have the regular card, the other card um, with an OT9 set. Yeah, and then I have all the digi packs, and then I have no platform cards. I'm also gonna try to work on this. And then I have an OT9 set that I am working on. So yeah, I have, I have good progress. Oh my god, there's hair everywhere, sorry. And then for Hikaru, since I moved that pod, this is the only card on the non-album page. But yeah, that's it. 
get for her. My goal is to get those cards complete. And then I've been thinking about collecting my top three for Kepler, but I don't think I'm going to because I have other plans for other collections that I kind of want to prioritize. So yeah. So I'm just going to keep collecting them till I disband in like a year, I think, actually at this point. And then... I'll see what she does after a coupler. Then next I have Jihyo. So for Jihyo, I collect, I plan on collecting Taste of Love Onward fully. And then I have some cards from before that, that I'm just gonna like hold on to. So these are my earlier cards. So I have these two from Twistagram, this one from Fancy, this one from Feel Special, this one from More and More. And then this is going to go on the Formula of Love page when it's ready, but I just, it's the only card I have, so I didn't want to waste a page on just one card. So here's what I have for between one and two. And then I have Ready to Be Complete. And I'm set up for her solo. I'm doing kind of a spread because I'm probably gonna get, order a full set of albums from somewhere that's gonna get me pre-order benefits. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah. We'll see how that goes. And then here's my non-album slash pre-order page. So this is her With Me Light Stick card. And then these two pre-order cards that I've gotten. I think it's freebies or something. And here's the pre-order set that I got from my Ready To Be album. And that's it. So yeah, I don't really have any goals for Jihyo. It's kind of similar to Chaedyoung, just like, keep going. I'm like these like earlier cards are really low prio for me so I'm not gonna like worry too much about it yeah just keep going I think twice is really easy to collect and fun to collect so I like keeping it chill so yeah that's it for Ooh, I hit my truck that's it oh my god I didn't see my favorite cards see my favorite Hikaru card is probably this one with the phone yeah and then my favorite Jihyo card is this Feel Special card. Or potentially this one. I love cards where she's like all up close to the camera. They're really cute. Anyways, now we can move on. Alright, so next I have my girl groups A5. So in here is Ning Ning and then Nujin and Kazuha. So yeah. Ning -ning. I didn't make collages for them yet, but I have little dividers. This lenticular is like to pop out of the pages. So, yeah. so here's Savage, and then into the US exclusives for girls. I just, just decided to make that like a transition thing. And I did an OT4 set for girls. Oh, yeah. OT4 set for girls, and then the rest of the girls' cards, and then into my world. I have the OT4 sets that come with the albums. And then these look really empty, but I have most of them secured. <laughs> so yeah, here's what I have for my world so far. So yeah, this is the <clears throat> tabloid version, and then the zine spicy version, the spicy zine from Target, and then this is like the in person US exclusive or whatever. So yeah. And I have some non-album yeah so my goal for um ning ning is just to get more into non-album i kind of started so yeah then i might want to expand my espa collection i either want to also just collect karina or even do ot4 but i'm still thinking about it but yeah espa is just kind of my favorite girl group right now so i do want to collect a bit more for them but for now I'm happy just because I have honestly just one collection I typically I just want to focus on for a little while after this video. And then I have Yunjin and Kazuha from La Seraphim. This collection I like just just started, so there's not really that much. So here's Fearless. And then um Anti-Fragile. And then Unforgiven. <laughs> I have a good amount of progress for Unforgiven. I actually also have this Bloody Rose card. It's just in like the stack of cards I'm putting aside for my next storm video. 
the C Ember, and then I did the Target cards, and then some compacts, and the Weavers. Yeah, that's it. I don't really have goals for them right now, just to, you know, catch up and then, like, keep up when their next album comes out. So they've gotten a lot easier to collect with Unforgiven, so that's kind of why I picked them up. I've wanted to pick them up for a while, so I'm glad I got to. Uh, I'm so stupid. I didn't say my favorite cards. My favorite Ning Ning card is this one, definitely. Target card. And then I'll do one each for Yunjin and Kazuya. <clears throat> I don't have that much Yunjin. It is probably her compact card that I have. And my favorite Kazuha is, is probably this compact, actually, as well. The compact cards are really cute. Oh my god, I'm like losing my voice. Hello. But yeah. Alright, my second to last binder is my Big Boy Stray Kids binder. I collect my top three, and then Ordinary Onward, I collect OT8. So yeah. We have a mixtape into I Am Not, and then an OT8 set I'm doing for I Am Not. And then for the cards where they have- sorry, for the albums where they have five cards per album, I've been doing spreads. So yeah. The first, like, half of this binder is really sad. They really don't have that much progress. Honestly, I want to say before Ordinary. <laughs> so yeah, my goal for this collection is for this like later half in the year to really focus on it, which is why I don't really want to pick up anyone else. Like I do, but I, like I would rather focus on this. I actually have Levanter complete, except the last cards are just still on the way. I got them from a group order. Go live. In life. So easy. I have a couple more. Oh my god, there's dust everywhere. I have a couple of no easy cards on the way, so. Then I did an OT8 set of the double sided. Just because after I complete my top three. I feel like I'm going to have the urge to collect OT8 for everything. <laughs> so I might as well just get some OT8 sets out of the way now. <laughs> and then this OT8 set that came with the limited version of the album. And Christmas Evil. And then the pre-order OT8 set. And then Ordinary, I'm only missing actually one card. Anything because these two are on hand and then the later one is on hand. So yeah, I have the mask off version, scanning, Frankenstein, IDs. Yeah, so for some of them, if I had an extra card, I put in the middle as the filler, but I don't have too many of those, so yeah. Then the jewel case, which I just got the submin in, so that's complete now. Then the units. And then to Maxident, we have the heart cards, tea crush, and then go, then the Polaroids, and then Maxident is also complete except for one card. I'm just missing this. I only did my I did my top four for these sets. So yeah, this is the case version and the case version pre-order. I'm just missing this one done in. Then going into five star, this is just all the progress I've made so far. I have a lot coming from my like fixed member claim. The close up set, this set, and then the double sided, and then Digipack, Digipack pre order. So, yeah, that's it for album cards, and the rest is just um, fan kits and season's greetings. But I only just recent start recently started doing that, so I only have the 2022 ones. So, I have these, and the IDs. I said when I put these away in like February <laughs> that I would be try that I would try to find a way to keep them still and I have yet to do that. 
But yeah. Oh, yes, he has some greetings. I love this set. And the concept set. So yeah. That's it for this binder. So my- oh my gosh, they have so many cards. I don't even know how to pick a favorite. My favorite Chan card... I don't even know, man. <laughs> Let me think. I'll say his ordinary jewel case. My, my favorite Minho card. I know. Is this Levanter card. And my favorite Hyunjin card is probably actually from Five Star. I really love this card. <laughs> so, yeah. Ooh. So yeah, I want to, you know, focus on this collection mainly for the next little bit. Yeah, and see what happens. And the last, I have my Hyunjin non-album binder. Hyunjin is my, like, alt of all alts, so he has his own binder for his non-album stuff. So yeah, I made this little collage out of um, an Extra Maxident album. So first I have a couple of limited cards, so I have the Light Vanter Limited, then I have Chan's Go Live Limited. I just haven't found a trade yet, <laughs> I've been a little lazy too, so I just keep them here for now. And then In Life, No Easy, I'm gonna do two of Christmas Evil and then two Ordinary Pre-orders, and then Maxident. I only started collecting pre-order benefits during Maxident era, or like kind of technically like right after. So yeah, so then I have... So Maxident, um, I believe it's Apple Music, JYP Shop with Mew, and this is the Soundwave Lucky Draw. And then this is the S Make Star, MMT, Target, and then another Soundwave Lucky Draw thing. And I'm just set up for the next comeback, except for some um, US stuff and like other stuff in the back that I've picked up that weren't through my fixed member claim. So I'm just gonna like flip through this pretty quickly. And this is like kind of the setup I'm thinking based on like all the outfits and stuff. Yes, yeah, so I'm getting, I'm doing some two member sets, mostly Jong An, but I have this Minho, so I kept it. I'm doing a top four for Apple Music and then top four for Target. And then I. Before I collected OT8 for these eras, I had these like just like in the setups, like in like the regular binder setup with the album cards, but since I switched to OT8, I just threw these in here. Then I have some of his merch Polaroids. I want to expand these as well, especially like these ones can be really cheap, so I kind of want all of them, but it's like not a priority at the moment, but it would be fun to do. Then I have all of his online Jeju ones, I didn't do the offline ones, and then I have an extra Jungin that I tucked back here. And then here's like what I have of his Nacific stuff so far. Then I also started collecting Jungin for Nacific, just cause like, one day, like when I joined this group order, someone was like, Jungin's still available if like anyone knows anyone or wants it, and I was like, you know what, I'll take it. <laughs> and now I just like have been claiming him. I have the next one secured. So it's gonna go on this page, and then I have Mahagrin. I only have the second two rounds, and I only did four rounds, so I do want to get the last two. Those can be a bit more expensive, so if I never find them at prices I want to pay, I'll probably just get Jongin and then just do those two for rounds three and four. So yeah, for Hyunjin, I don't really have any goals. Just because I try to not like, I don't know, I don't want to take this too seriously because it's obviously a lot of money that I have basically every pop of his coming already from this era. I do kind of want to get more maybe Maxident pops just because like they like are really good. Like they like really stepped up the photo card game with Maxident. And then Christmas Eve has some really cute pops. Maybe I'll just get some more of those for fun. I don't know. So yeah. And then I have plans to get like some of the pilot merch cards. And then I do want to back collect Nacific. 
ideally I'd like get every of all of what I'd get every round but like again I don't want to like stress myself out with this collection just because Hyunjin and Stray Kids in general can be really expensive for non-album stuff so yeah I'm just trying to be chill about it so yeah that's it that's my whole collection <gasps> Should I do my favorite Chenjin Pob? I mean, hello, this one. This whole page, basically. <laughs> these are all my favorites. I love these cards. So yeah, that's it. That's my whole collection. It's not huge, but I've been collecting officially for a year. So yeah, I'm really happy and proud and excited to keep collecting. Bye!